Okay, welcome back everybody. A bit more everybody's golf, PlayStation 4. Trying to close out the gallery. I've got 199 of 200. Um, so we're going to play Canaloa Beach. Long tees, wheat wind. So, you know, conditions are okay. Tammy is the last one in our gallery. She's level 13. Um, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can actually close this out. Um, I'm going to change my ball type. I'm going to go with the sand viper just because there's a fair Welcome bit of sand back, on this course. And if we do get stuck in a bunker, we might just need the support. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm playing a bit better at the moment. I think the, the course management approach, shall we say, of not trying to knock the snot out of everything um, has helped. I'm still you know, having those holes where you get the triple bogey, but you know... I'm just hoping I can I can overcome those and, and close this out. Because um, the trouble I had on Massimo, who was the, the third last gallery member, was just ridiculous. Um, I cruised through the last one. I'm just hoping that's the that's the trend and this will be a nice uneventful nine holes of golf and we'll, we'll close it out. We'll get the trophy um, and I can do something else in this game. Um, which is try and get some albatrosses and condors because I think there's some extra VS revenge characters you get when you get those. So... That's what I'm, I'm going to try and aim for after this. So, here we go. Okay. It's a par four. Now, the altitude on this course and some, some interesting places. It's, it's mostly about getting your ball in the right spot. So you can drive this. Um, but again, there's a bit of wind and you've kind of got to bring it right to left because you want to be over the fairway, if you see what I mean. Oh, and that's... Yeah, ciao. So we've made our first mistake on the first hole. Is that out of bounds? Yeah, it's out of bounds. Well, that's gone. This may well be one of those rounds. Shake it off, yeah. Thank you, Taylor. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's just actually hit the shot. There are the times your, your skills let you down. Oh my lord, that's only just on. So we're there for three. So a pitch in would be nice, you know. One of those times where we actually get the chip in. Not quite, not quite. It was a little bit shy. But, you know, okay. So we start with a bogey. We start with a bogey. Just going to make it hard for ourselves, are we? That's how it's going to be. Six. Okay. <sighs> Right. So let's knuckle down, manage it, concentrate. Again, previously I've gone for that fairway, but we might just we might just have the length for this. Suzuki thinks I know. Suzuki thinks I've made that wet. Oh, ho, ho. that was that was tight. Yeah. Hey, hey, you're all, all sweet little Suzuki, eh? Hey, hey, that was dreadful and you know it. Okay, so downhill. Um, bit of a wind. This is all about stopping the thing, I think. Oh. Okay, my impact's beginning to let me down. That's going to be in the sand, isn't it? If it doesn't go out of bounds. Oh, that, that's ridiculously close to the ball, to boundary there. Okay, so let's just get this out. Let's just get this out. Let's just get this on. Okay, good impact. It's going to be way long because I got hold of it. No, it's not that bad. So I got a birdie, birdie chance. Let's go left edge. Let's just take our birdie. Thank ourselves. I suppose the sand viper actually probably held it. Because we've got a good contact down in the sand. Okay, so we're back to we're back to level par. We're back to par. Back to par. Okay. So seven holes to go. It's like we started again. Just a shorter course. Okay, so another par three. Tailwind. Plenty of green to work with. It's downhill. Let's see how we do. Line's not great. But then my five iron's not my um, best club control wise. Wow, that's way left. So pace was okay. I 
Okay, let's try the chip in. Oh, just about pitched a couple of inches too far. Okay, so let's go outside right edge. And it should just come back to us. There you go. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. That's a missed opportunity. Let's get back up there. Okay, so we're still par. We're still par. Oh, it's a par four. So again, this is another one that kind of encourages you to take a risk. Um, you, you know, you just can't drive that. But um, you can kind of try around here. So let's take it around this tree. And again, what happens if you just don't get the ideal... Yeah, I didn't want to eat that tree. Have I got away with that? Yeah, that was not that was not what you'd call great. So let's give him a three eye. Oof. I think I've got that wet. No. How on earth have I managed that? Don't take your eye off the game. So that's two terrible shots. a little bit here. So how earth... Oh, I got a shot for par here, because that was just shocking. So let's go a cup left. And we'll take our par and we'll move on. Okay, okay, okay. So where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? So a level par. Which is not great. And again, this is another one where I've 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 experimented with with going up here in the past, but I think we're going to take the lesson from the last time we played, which is kind of back it off because it's considerably downhill. Let's see if we can power up my five wood. Yeah! Ooh, that went. Oh, nice look, I'm very left. There's not a lot of control. There's only level five control. But I suppose I'll get a power score from that. Okay. Now, I've just got to assume I'm going to clear that arch. Okay, so five iron again. We've got a bit of a tailwind. Let's go past. Try and stop it. Yeah, that was always the risk. I'm just not close enough, am I? So I probably want to play a longer club. Maybe even the five wood. It should give me a flatter trajectory. Okay, so this round is it's just coming apart now. Where are we at? Eighth shot? Yeah. I mean, I almost just want to chip it up here now. Just get myself closer. So again, we talked about taking the big mistakes out, didn't we? I suppose that's a lesson learned, isn't it? And we're not even on. We're not even on. Oh, I love that me seven. I suppose I could level up my clubs here, couldn't I? That's what I should really try and do, is, is get some value out of this game at this point. Oh, there you go. Chip in for six over. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's not talk about that. So, we're not going to win this. But let's work on some of our clubs. So, what can we do here? Five iron, or we could... Definitely get it some more power, I suppose. Or do we go a club up? What's our four iron like? Yeah, see, our four iron's really underdeveloped. So let's let's give our four iron a whacking. Oh, nice shot. And that's the problem is that once you've once you've got a club that kind of is better than the club up from it, so the five iron bit, the four iron, you're never using the four iron. So 
I think maybe I need to make a bit of, a, bit of an effort to develop the four iron. So I don't know. Let's go maybe three. Because again, we've got to under hit this because of the power. That's probably way under hit. I'll just fade. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Turns out it was alright. I just thought I was going to die. Oh, so we get one back to five over. <laughs> What's the plan, Suzuki? What's that plan? Okay. So it's a par four. So let's see if we can if we can do something with those clubs. Now, there is a something I've tried in the past here is to, is to go up here. And we've gone for this spot here and just try to drive through. Um, why not, eh? Master Hall. Okay, so we've got a bit of hedge to work through, but we might we might be able to get that through. Look at the gauge closely. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Suzuki. So we're just on approach range. That's okay. So that gets us on. Roll with it. Then I'm, I'm not sure it's any better because you know it's not the ideal approach. So let's go maybe three cups left and play it level pace. Just see how that plays. Oh, a little bit of back door. So I'm back to four over. It's amazing, isn't it? How your putting comes back when you when there's no pressure on you. Yeah. So this is can we not finish dead last now really, isn't it? That's that's the challenge in this. Um, and again, let's try and bring this round. So we're gonna bring this left to right. And I've played a power shot, but I don't have a power shot, which is incredibly risky. But I did get it. But I didn't really need to. But it's a bit of instinct really with the with the woods. Wow, that really bounced on. That really bounced on. It's got me in the rough. Okay. So I don't have a power shot. So let's go left. Let's see what we can do. Cause it's gonna go. It's gonna go right, way right from the from the pitch. Yeah, we lost a little bit. Now with a bit of luck, this is gonna pitch somewhere and bounce on. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. And it is a par five. So let's see if we can get it close. Let's see if we can pitch it. You know, if I can get it within three foot. Oh. I'd be happy. But I'm happy. It's within three foot. Okay. So we get a birdie there. Gets me down to three over. Are we going to torture ourselves and think about what we would have got if we take the six out? So that gets to three under. Oh, it still wouldn't be enough. She's four under, so... Actually, I flat out wasn't good enough. So again, this 18th, you can just drive it. If you're really ballsy, you can just absolutely whack it. Um, which, you know, let's just go for it. There's nothing to lose. And the plan is just to try and stop it. The real problem is if you get it on the green, it skips on. And then you end up out the back in the sand. Or even in the water. Careful of the light. Okay, we're actually in the water. So that's, that's something, isn't it? So we're going to need the 60 the 60 approach aren't we okay let's just knock the snot out of it okay it's alright so we get the birdie chance you know well, that's a very unconventional birdie <laughs> and it gets us to two over which is not great uh, yeah so we'd have ended up four under if we took that out, assuming we've got a par. I mean, where would four under leave us? Okay, so we might have won, but um, we wouldn't have got the three shots to, to get her in the gallery. And we weren't dead last, so, you know, we recovered something from that. So, not a great round. Um, still leaves us with one to go. Um, I've set my best there at two over. Wow. I don't think we actually get a reward for that, which is ridiculous. So please join me next time. Um, Tammy. Um, yeah. She could be the next Massimo. Um, 
So thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.